Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. I thought I'd do a little more yard walk around the uh, little urban homestead we got going here and show you guys how things are progressing in October. It's like the first end of the first week of October. So let me turn the camera around here. The birds are out here chirping away. Walk down the deck here. Show the garden boxes here. They're kind of slowing down. I was going to show you guys some of these little radishes we got back here. I don't know how good they're going to be, but look at the size of that guy. That thing is huge. <laughs> yeah, there's some other ones that are in here. You know, there's one there. It's pretty good, but that, I saw that one the other night. That thing is just monstrous. I'm going to wait until we get down close to a first frost. I'm going to pull that thing out. We'll probably grate it. You know, I don't know how good it would be if you had it sliced, but we could, do some, we could grate that like on a little cheese grater and put it in our salad just to give a little a little spice because I think it'd be a little tough trying to eat that guy but uh, yeah kale we've been cutting off this kale oh, look, there's, there's my little buddies look at that guy yeah, that's what's been eating my, my kale one down well there's a bunch of them in here through here and pick those guys off. They're just all over in here now. Birds aren't doing their job. But, uh, yeah, these boxes have pretty sl slowed down quite a bit. We got some carrots we can probably pull out of here. Tomatoes seem to be still trucking along there. Quite a few tomatoes. We've been harvesting off of these. Uh, for our salads. Get off the deck. You can see we've still got a lot of tomato production happening out here. I'm going to harvest these off today. You can see back there, there's some more uh, uh, big brandy wine variants. And we've been taking off all these ones that are turning orange here collecting those up, dehydrating those. Yeah, there's still a lot of a lot of tomato production. Back down in there. There's a lot on these plants. And these things seem really vigorous still. Get one there I'm gonna get. There's a couple over here we gotta harvest. picked our columnar apples the other day, and uh, four total of these two columnar apples. This is their second year being in the yard, so that's pretty good. Bunch of, let's see, there's, there's some more of the tomatoes there, a bunch more back here, a big monster one back here. Got a little black spot though, so we'll probably just cut that off and use that one for dinner tonight. We're still getting tomatoes. It's getting to that point of the season, though. You can start seeing the downy mildew showing up on the tomato leaves. There's some more tomatoes back here. I got to pick today. Sunflowers are starting to fall over and give out their last little bit. This has been the tomato summer, though. I'll tell you. Paul has been really busy canning, been helping out with the dehydrating. There's some more tomatoes over here we got to pick today. This little box. You can see our clover in our former lawn area. It's really taken hold and uh, it's really nice. I mean, you can walk in here and you can actually feel the ground squish to where you know that it's getting the, uh, the root mass down in there. And then last weekend I uh, came out here in the backyard and throughout these areas here. And uh, you know, a little bit up on the upper hillside, I'll show up above. I put in another uh, 200 daffodil bulbs. 
of different varieties. You know, there's some white ones with a pink center, some pink ones, a lot of yellow, you know, the yellows or golden color. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be really nice this spring when I post those videos for you guys to see because we've already got a lot of daffodils up here. And you know, they'll be propagating themselves. But we're gonna get, uh, Paula's gonna head over to uh, Costco today. They usually have pretty good deals on their fall bulbs sales. So she's gonna pick up probably another two, three hundred that we'll put out here in the yard. So that'll look really nice for spring. And we got the gojis I gotta harvest today. We've been getting a lot of the berries off of these. You can see the leaves are starting to get the downy mildew. But there's a lot of harvestable berries on here, so I'll pick those today. And this bush over here has some climb back in there and knock down the spiders. Refill our feeders. These are the new boxes that we put in. The peas and the, uh, the compost. And then I put the cover mix on. You see here's the hairy vetch coming up. You know, it's, you know, it's going to give a little bit of cover for the winter. Put a little bit of nutrient in that soil, but that'll be that'll be good. We got some more tomatoes. Looks like I got a harvest up here. There you go. Got to get to them before the squirrels. Those are little lingonberries. They seem to do pretty well. All four of these bushes survived this year. Pretty happy with that. Got quite a bit of growth on them. They were only you know two inch transplants. I've often that to one green wool nursery. A little fig. It's actually put on a lot of growth this year. So hopefully, maybe next year we'll get some figs off this guy. And the other one over there in the other box back that way. We've got our pawpaws up there. The big pawpaw and the little pawpaw. Really be a papa, that'd be more like a father and a son, or a mother and a daughter, because <laughs> of the size difference. Yeah, you can see the tomatoes are really, really dying back. It's that time of year. We don't get much sun up here in these other boxes after uh, September, so they really cut back. So does this one over here. We harvested quite a few tomatoes and tomatillos off of this box. Got tomatillo down here, though, boy, it's sure put on a lot of flowers in fall. I'm surprised we get a lot of bee activity on this in the last you know, few weeks. But that's good. It's going to help them with their honey production for overwintering. We all want that pappy. Let's see, back down here in the lower yard. There's one of our pears. Come on, some growth this year. Trim some of those lower limbs so I don't have to keep ducking down. This is where I've been dumping the, uh, the trays from inside for the lettuce, you know, for the indoor grows, all of our microgreens. I've just been dumping it all inside these boxes here and just letting it rot down. I think next I'll transition over to this box here, start throwing some in. You can see I got a little few uh, pop up nasturtium in there. Still got some apples on our uh, little golden delicious here on this uh, tree. We harvested all the lower ones because of the uh, yellow lab we have. He decided it was his tree and he wanted to pick off these. We let him have a few apples because, you know, he's 15 this month and he's kind of slowing down. So he may not be around for next season, so we figured we'd let him pick and choose what uh, veggies he wanted out of the yard this year. Over here to the lower side, there's the propagation bed. I've done videos on before. We've got this area here. I kind of cleaned this up. This blackberry here I'm going to eliminate because this is supposed to be a, uh, a wildflower kind of area down here. And this blackberry really took over this year and was going through the autumn olive. That's our autumn olive tree. We've got an almond tree right there. And we got a pear here. This pear I'm going to shape this winter. I'm going to make this a uh, kind of a droopy pear. I'm going to 
probably top off those top limbs and I'm going to start curving them over to where it's going to be more of a kind of a drooping, sagging pair. It's going to be kind of miniaturize it. But yeah, so this is the black bear we're going to get rid of. That way these wildflowers down below are going to have a little easier time of uh, spreading, open things up. Because the amount of berries we got it just took over too much space in this uh, suburban yard. And then we do also have, you know, another seed or a thornless blackberry right back there. So that's going to give us our blackberries that we get. Looks like there's some tomatoes back there in the area i got to go harvest. That's kind of it for the yard update. I just thought I'd do a little quick tour. We did put some new blackberries in, though. Or not blackberries. <laughs> some grapes. A lot of Concord. But they're a, uh, a table grape. You can make into jams or you can you could probably make into wine, I guess, if you had enough. A table wine. But uh, yeah, so we got a, another grape here. We do have some kiwis that we had growing on here, but they're pretty slow growing, so we wanted to get something a little faster so we know the grapes that really take off. So we got a this is a white grape, that's a red grape over there. And then over there is another white grape. So we're going to let those trellis up and then kind of vine back and forth on this trellising system I did with uh, cabling. It should look kind of nice. Have kind of the grapes hanging down off of there. Get a nice backdrop. All right. Well, that's kind of it. That's the yard update for uh, fall, October, first week of October 2017. All right. Talk to you guys again. Bye.